More individuals will be called in to assist a police probe into the four-day systems outage at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, KLIA, two weeks ago. So far, 12 people have been summoned by authorities and had their statements recorded in connection with the case. Now, they include four individuals from the Malaysia Airport Holdings Berhad MAHB Information Technology Division. KLIA Police Chief ACP Zulkifli Adam Shah said the investigation will take time to complete as it involves a slew of sophisticated and technical issues. The case was probed under the penal code for damaging public property in the process of committing mischief. Earlier, the airport operator had said that the system's breakdown could be due to an act of malicious intent. This prompted the Transport Ministry to form a committee to look into the failure of KLIA's total airport management system. The outage, which began on the night of August 21st, resulted in flight delays and cancellations and long queues at check-in counters. It also affected main functions such as Wi-Fi connections, flight information display system, check-in counters and baggage handling system. Now, meanwhile, at KLIA 2, two immigration officers sustained minor injuries after they were assaulted by two Chinese nationals. The incident happened after the duo and a third Chinese national's entry into Malaysia was rejected on Merdeka Day earlier in the morning. Officers had instructed the two men who were accompanying a 33-year-old Chinese woman to move away from a holding area designated for women. However, both men refused and started punching the officers before they were finally stopped by other officers on duty. The three Chinese nationals were issued with not-to-land notices as their entry into the country was deemed dubious. They have since been deported back to their country and have been blacklisted from entering Malaysia.